On to the next stanza. Verse 12 through 15. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world in its fullness are mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls? Or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And perform your vows to the Most High. It call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Now, this stands up. The Lord said, If I were hungry, Israel, I wouldn't tell you if I was. For all the earth and the universe are mine. God doesn't, God doesn't eat the flesh of bulls or drink goat's blood. <laughs> He doesn't want our obligatory sacrifices. He wants what's in our heart. He wants to give us what's really in our hearts. He wants us to give thanks to Him. To give Him glory. And thanks for all the things He's done. That's, that's the sacrifice He wants. A thankful heart. Call upon the Lord. Call upon Him in the day of trouble. He will help you. He's the only one who can help you. God deserves all the glory and the honor and the praise. You owe Him everything. You owe Him your allegiance. As stated in the last video. Okay. Um... Form your vows to the Lord as well. Now, on to the next stanza. Verse 16 through 18. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to, re to recite my statutes or take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline. And you cast my words behind you. If you see a thief, you are pleased with him. And you keep company with adulterers. Now in this, in this stanza, God is condemning the wicked. And he says, What right do you have to recite my laws? If you don't love my laws, God's life. You hate this one. Wicked people hate this one, obviously. <laughs> but they love thieves and adulterers. They don't care for my words, God says. The evil people, they just cast God's work in their back. They don't they don't give a rip about conviction. Their conscience is seared. People, and that's, that's not good. They have a hardness of heart. And a hardness of heart is a, it's a dangerous, it's a sign of rejection. A sign of rejecting God. Now, in rejection, a spirit. Get off their nose. No. Moving on to the next thing. Verse 19 through 21. 
you give your mouth free reign for evil and your tongue frames deceit you sit and speak against your brother you slander your own mother's son these things you have done and I have been silent you thought that I, you thought that I was was one like yourself but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you now in this stanza God is continuing his rebuking of of the wicked God says they don't these evil people don't care what they say they don't care if they take the Lord's in vain or lie they slander their own failing members it's terrible you've done all this yeah that's what evil people do. You know? And don't worry. God will rebuke them. And judge them. They won't go unjudged. Before they do for the evil they do. They're like hypocrites. And all kinds of people. They don't care if they do evil though. They don't. It does not bother them when they sin. Okay, let's move on to the next stanza. The final stanza. Mark this, then you forget God. Lest I tear you apart. Okay, let me... Let me, let me reiterate that. Verse 22 to 23. Final stanza. Mark this, then, you who forget God, lest I tear you apart, and there be none to deliver. The one who offers thanksgiving as a sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. Now in this stanza, God continues to rebuke the wicked. He says, Mark this, you forget. You who forget God. He's telling the people that forget him to remember this. To remember these things. Lest he destroys that person with none to deliver. God is reminding these people not to forget what he's done. To remember that he, he did those things and that they didn't accomplish those things by themselves. Israelites, because the Israelites, after a while in the land, they begin to think. They did it all themselves. No. God delivered them to the Red Sea. He defeated the Canaanites for them. And we need to thank Him for what He's done. To remember Him. To give credit. To work credit is due. God deserves all the glory, the honor, the praise, and the thanks. That's something we should do every day. Remember to thank God and give him the glory he deserves. He also wants us to obey him, to trust and obey him. That's how we show our love for God. Let's 
to put our faith in him. Trust and believe. And he gives us his, his salvation. And we put trust and hope and faith in him. And surrender our lives to him. So this is a good word for evil people too. God wants the evil people to turn, to turn their wickedness so they're not destroyed and are beyond deliverance. Because God gives people many chances to be saved. Eventually there comes, there comes a point when they're not going to have another chance. Not to suffer forever in eternal torment. Eternal torment. So don't miss the chance that God gives you to be saved. Don't wait, people, to receive salvation. As soon as you feel God, believe as soon as possible. Turn him as soon as possible. Don't. Don't wait until it's too late, people. Because you never know. Your life might be coming to an end. It ends night in your sleep. So when you hear about Jesus, you hear about salvation, don't wait to accept it. His free gift of salvation. Do it as soon as you can. And that's all I have to say about this song. You guys have a good day. And I'll see you in the next episode.